This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at alignment with God's orders. These are seven practical applications of Numbers 2 in the Christian life, organizing for purpose. When you read Numbers 2, at first it just looks like a, a whole series of uh, directions for how Israel should organize itself around what's called the Ten of the Meeting. And they did it by tribe. And uh, in the details of number two, you'll read about where they were to be placed and how many of them there were. Um, and that's pretty much what, what you see in first blush uh, for numbers two. But there's some level of importance here that if we dig into it a little deeper, we will see is important to us. In the journey of faith, the Bible always serves as a timeless guide. So it offers insights and principles that shape our lives as Christians. And among the many passages that provide guidance, Numbers 2 stands out as a blueprint for organization and purpose within the community of believers. While it may seem like a lot of instructions for encampment during the Israelites' wilderness wanderings, the principles embedded within Numbers 2 carry profound significance for modern-day Christians. Here are seven practical applications for Numbers 2 that can transform and organize our lives for divine purpose. The first, and this is the most important, is alignment with God's order. Just as the tribes of Israel were instructed to camp in very specific formations around the tabernacle, Christians are called to align themselves with God's order. God has a plan, and he wants us to organize according to that. The second is unity in diversity. So the arrangement of the tribes in Numbers 2 highlights the beauty of diversity within each unity. Each tribe had its own distinct characteristics, yet they came together as one cohesive unit under the banner of God's presence. The third is submission to authority. So the positioning of the tribes according to their banners underscored the importance of submission to authority. God has a plan. He lays it out to us. We're to follow. The fourth is purposeful placement. Each tribe was assigned a very specific location within the encampment, and that reflected a purposeful placement orchestrated by God. So in our Christian journey, we need to recognize our unique gifts, talents, and callings, which allows us to discover our God-given purpose and how we fit together as a whole in the body of Christ uh, as the church. The fifth is protection and provision. So the strategic arrangement of the tribes offered both protection and provision as they journeyed through the wilderness. Similarly, as Christians, God's divine provision and protection surround us as we walk in obedience to his will. Sixth, order in community life. Numbers 2 illustrates the importance of order and structure in community life. Just as the tribes adhere to their assigned positions, Christians are called to live in harmony and order within the body of Jesus. And the seventh is preparation for purpose. Lastly, the organization of the tribes in Numbers 2 served as preparation for their onward journey into the promised land. They were getting ready to go. They were going to fulfill God's plan as they enter. So in our Christian life, we must embrace the principles of organization, unity, and submission, which prepares us for the fulfillment of God's purpose in our lives. So here's the bottom line. The practical applications of number two offers timeless principles that guide and shape our Christian life. By aligning ourselves with God's order, embracing diversity, walking in unity, we embody the values of God's kingdom. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.